What's up, guys? It's Big Dog Dempsey back with part f nine. I think it's nine. <laughs> Kanako raised her hand, then the others followed. So they got a kid in that. So go to eat on Oh, that's my son. My son, what does she? My car, just to hand on that. They want to must. So from tomorrow, let's do our best. Kotirakosa, Yoroshku, Ryobosa. Katari chan mo, Yoroshku ne. Katori was ma moody until the end, but she kept herself from shouting abuse at me, <laughs> which I know she's good at. She seems to understand my intentions. You know, I just realized something. Where are the CGs? There's like no CGs. I mean, there are the little like chibi arts, but like, where are my CG guys? Like my 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 my, my pictures. I haven't seen any pictures. Thanks for the day, Akiha. You really helped me out. Itte. Aoi ga komatte ru toki, watashi ga tasukeru. Futsu na koto desho. Same goes for you too. That came waddling down from down the corridor. Oh, Ahiru san, doshita no? Miyokuri ni kite kureta no? Waga! Maybe he's saying thanks for helping Katori. Those are his feelings as her housemate. Ja, heya ni modotta ra tsutaete. Kyou wa tanoshikatta ne te. <laughs> the way he replied made it seem like he completely understood then what Agiha had said, and Hat waddled his tail, wiggled his tail as he waddled off. <laughs> Kawaii. Okay, take care of yourself. Take care on your way back. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, computer, what the fuck? We're good? Okay, quack, quack. Hotto, doko itte da no? Hai, oyatsu no kyuri. She feeds him cucumber! Quack! Ne, kite hotto. Kyo ne, watashi. Gohan tsukuru no techi datta no yo. Tori niku no. Nanto ka niku mitte yun da kedo. Minna oishi itte itte da. Watashi mo tabe da kedo. Honto ni oishikatta no. Sugoi desho. Mo sugu. Kyo ga owatcha. Tanoshikatta na. Oh, guys, she's starting to have fun! Oh, my new Katori! <laughs> such a good friend, guys. I like Katori a lot. Whoa, what's going on? I push down on the heavy pedals and the greers creak. I worry that the chain, which is stretched to its limit, will snap and fly off at some point. However, there's no time to think about that during the hill climb. <sighs> Damn it! I can't do this anymore! This part is just way too severe. I'm not proud of this, but I decided not to put myself through any pointless hardship. I don't enjoy putting it in a lot of effort. Just ahead of me is something fun, so that's why I can do my best. At that time, I was getting closer and closer to it. Finally, the top of the slope. As I climbed to the top of the slope, the view of the sun opened up. Below me is the town spread far into the distance and the steep downhill road. Finally, the time has come for my reward. I lower my posture, kick down on the bike pedal, and accelerate in the blink of an eye. 
spite of the headwind that would have been so problematic at flat. Oh god, it's loud! Ground, I cut through it like a bullet on a downhill slope. Spread can reach close to 80 kilometers per hour. Fuck! Ain't that like 60 miles per hour or something? If that were a car driving through the city, it would breeze past as it overtook other cars. If I come off my bike now, I'll be seriously injured. No joke, I couldn't even die. After all, when we race, we are almost completely exposed. The road is winding and still not flat. At high speeds, when I entrust my body to the inertia, the wheels bounce on the uneven road surface. Fucking hey, that's loud! Jesus! Okay, hopefully that sounds better. At high speeds, when I entrust my body to the inertia, the wheels bounce on the uneven road surface. Strangely, I don't feel any fear. I feel overwhelmingly auxiliary. Nevertheless, I mustn't lose concentration. But not like I hadn't predicted the... the... the that there... that there might be unforeseen circumstances. What happened to the music? Even so... Ah! Red! Why is it red? What happened? Dot, dot, dot. When I opened my eyes, I thought that I was on the hospital bed. Sure, there's an unfamiliar ceiling, but I soon figured out that it wasn't a hospital. It's my room, huh? I still don't really feel like this is my room, though. I lie on my side on the bed and vacantly try to recall what happened in my dream. I forgot most of what occurred from the shock of waking up, but I still had the general idea of what kind of dream it was. I pull the alarm clock towards myself. 11.42. Fuck, man, you overslept big time. It's noon already. Even though it's Sunday, I've slept too long. On Sunday, I don't need to prepare breakfast. As for the jobs, like fixing lakes and other jobs, that can be done quickly. <laughs> they both of them yesterday. Sunday with nothing to do. I get out of bed and look down at my knee. There is, there is the scar, fresh from my surgery. It was the first time I'd seen it in a while, a dream about that time. In the last few days, because of how busy I'd been and the change of scene, I'd gone without having any unnecessary thoughts. Things had only calmed down a little, but yet I had let my guard down emotionally. Somehow, I thought I felt strangely sluggish and didn't feel like getting out of bed. There was someone knocking on the door. Aoi -kun, okite masu ka? Oi! It's Sane, the third year boarder. She's quite a cheerful person, but I always feel like she's keeping her distance from me. Despite that, Aoi -kun, now, okite! Oi! I'm awake. First I answer, then get out of bed, and then moved over to the door. What is it? I have a visitor, what? While thinking it was strange for Sunday to get so excited, I quickly got changed and left the room. I looked outside the entrance. Yo, Aoi. Hey, Anjan! Anjan! When she said I had a visitor, she meant Anjan. The boarders poked their heads out from behind the wall and looked at Anjan from a distance. It's just like Anjan to be completely unfazed by this weird spectacle. Anjan said as he passed uh, me a welcoming present. What's this? Shimigen Mochi? 
Oh, is this what I think it is? Anchan has always been popular with the girls. Especially with much older ladies. He often received presents from them, particularly from the elderly ladies. It's possible that he could have, uh... <laughs> could become like a straw millionaire. <laughs> and even if he just walked around the town for a day, there would be no shortage of things to eat. Oh, lucky guy. I take the souvenir from Anchan and pass it to Yuka and the others who are half hidden behind the wall of the hallway. Here, he said we should eat this together. He's my childhood friend, Anchan. The others all start saying, Really? Do? <laughs> Anchen, come on in. I'll pour you a cup of tea or something. Yeah, you're right. Because I am staying here, I don't really think about it that much. Then. Um, okay. Yeah, so we go ahead and leave. Aww, oh, goddammit. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's nice. It feels relaxing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. There's not a trace of the Kazigora that I once knew. But I remember this street. I mean, I used to come down in here almost every day. If you go this way, it leads to Kazami Shopping Street. It's the place where me, Agiha, and the others were born and raised and had a small shopping street. My family had a small real estate agency set up on one side of the street. Agen's family had a sporting goods store, and my sets, whatever, my boy, had a ramen restaurant. Then there's Anchan's place, which is a town factory near the shopping street. My childhood friends and I were all kids of the Kamatani shopping street, so we all played there. However, the shopping street disappeared due to the reconstruction. I've been to the underground shopping arcade a few times. I went to buy groceries. That was where I uh, went yesterday with Agiha and Katori. That's right. I was busy, so I hadn't been there. Whoa! Yeah! Windy Kazaka. <sighs> it's a large shopping mall built on the street, uh, but built on the side of when the small Kazaka shopping street where we grew up. I've been to the underground level before, but I've always entered using the back entrance, which is near the dormitory, so I didn't know, uh, know, know, what it was like to know. Even though I imagined a big building, I can't believe that Kazazami Shopping Street used to be here. In the world, there is a large shopping in the world. I didn't feel at all like I had come back to my hometown. On the contrary, I felt like I was lost in some unknown country. What happened to everyone from the shopping street? I 
Agia said that she had moved it. Oge Honchi no Ro. Ah, Anta. Oh, ita ita. Oh, there you are. Agia appeared with uncanny timing. Hito, tari to asun deru nda. Watashi mo koe kakete yo ne. Datte omae, mise no tetsudai ga aru nda ro. Ima owatta toko. Replied Akiha, who was standing in front of Higami Sports. That's what it said on the sign. Oh yeah, you told me that you moved. What's your shop? It's in Mindy now. Yeah, sports. The sports sporting goods store managed by Akiha's father. Uh, as far as I remember, it was a small town uh, sporting goods uh, store. But now, it was kind of a trendy sports store aimed at a younger people. They must be thinking of the kind of customers they'd get in the shopping mall, but I'm slightly confused since it's so different than to how it was when I was a kid. <laughs> I didn't know what your dad had an eye for. What younger people like. I answered while slightly dazed. Ah, so Oi, Hotaru! Hotaru? Oh, isn't that. Yeah, her little sister. Okay, I remember that. <laughs> We're talking about her. Uh, as Agiha called from inside the store, a petite girl, smaller than Agiha, came outside. Nani, Achan? Oh! Anchan to Aoi ga kiteru yo! Opened her eyes wide for a moment and then looked up at me. Her face seemed to say, Is this big guy standing here really oi? Is that in that case I should prove it myself. Long time no see, Hatori! I love Hatori's head in the same way that Anchan did to me. <laughs> Hatori wiggles her head around at her wits end as I rub it. She is Akiha's younger sister. She's only one year younger, so we used to play together a lot as kids. Her personality is the complete opposite of her sisterly. Shy and quiet. <laughs> You've gotten bigger too. Hahaha! <laughs> 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 mean to my sister. I'm not being mean, am I, Hotori? <laughs> <laughs> I let go, and for a little while, Hotori continued moving her head around and around, even though I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, Hatori. Hatori. Uh, do you want me to rub your head again? I start to move my hands around her. <laughs> hands towards her. Why am I going to do it again? <laughs> I jumped back and hid behind Agiha. <laughs> Don't be me. Ah! She punched me! I've been punched in the ribs! Ugh. I I just wanted to play with Hotoru a little. That's all. For some reason, Akiha is very protective of Hotoru. Hotoru. I thought I'd come to see you sometime, Hotoru. Ah, again with the glitch! Hotaru does there too? Goes there too? Oh wait, no, she's standing behind her. Okay, it wasn't a glitch, boys. But yeah. That's a surprise. I had the uh, idea in my head that Hotaru would definitely go to a regular school. 
俺はやめとけって言ったんだがな。I told you to give it up though. Han Chang graduated from Kaifu Academy. Because it was the school that Han Chang went to, Agiha and the others all took the entrance exams like it was a matter of course. I was the same. I knew it was a special school when I chose to transfer to it. ところで、二人で何してたのもしかして。デート当たりビンゴおはははっはいやっぱりはいねはいやっちゃん似たようなもんだろ葵に昼飯をおごってやろうと思ってなお前らも来るか行く行く行くオッケーとなるとあいつも呼んでやらないと後で詰めるなダメダメ、マーボーなら今日は忙しいって。なんだ、用事があるのか。正真正銘のデート。昨日、すっごい自慢された。でも、可愛いんだよ、マー君の彼女。なら邪魔するわけにはいかないな。俺たちだけで行くか。<笑>やったー。でご飯するの久しぶりだねどこ行くどこでもいいぞアンチェン asked me You're asking me where we should eat? I still don't know my way around here There are shops everywhere but they're still so new to me そんなの決まってるじゃない私らが集まったら行く店は一つ Say, Agiha is a tire of nothing. I also remember a little slower than the others. Taiyoken! Taiyoken? 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 What the fuck's Taiyoken? Uh, Mabo's dad doesn't hold back, does he? Oh, the ramen shop! I felt like my ramen <laughs> was going to come back up. And I, just, and I just barely cut it down by rubbing my、uh, hand along my belly. So she n e e not the Tokumori Tanomokarao. What does she want all Mori Nisto eat the Dai say, Kai? So they did not do boy, Acha. It's more you woke up to Zo. Ao, you know, Tammy, service is the great under all. And Janu. Also, had a special big bowl, was completely unfazed! <laughs> That's because he's huge! Acha, Aoni ni ate, ure so da ta. Odai mo service shite kure ta shne. But I can't believe that. Taiyukin? Taiyukin? Is still around. Toyakin. Oh,、uh, they just said, I can't remember what it is you said. There's a Chinese restaurant on one of the Kazami, Kazami、uh, shopping streets. It's also my boy's house. <laughs> they used to serve regular set、uh, menus. Men, menus. Menus. Men, oh, menus! But since moving, they've、uh, changed direction. It's because, like, one of the.、Uh, New Wave Ramen Restaurants in the city. Hanzo Sterun the Kara. Konaida Zashin no te, Wakai o Kaka Fueta, the Ochan O Yukobi. Ochan no Sashin Mono Tanda, Sukoka Kako Yukata. Atamani Taur my te, Udegumis de Toyago de Kimit Tarene. My boy is like his father. In、uh, other words, like his father, he gets carried away easily and tends to show off. Whether it's the sporting events or karaoke competitions in town, regardless of winning, my boy is the center of attention. Apart from seeing my boy's dad, my boy's dad, the trip wasn't nostalgic at all. The taste was completely different. Before, it was plain soy sauce ramen. But now it has become pork bone and fish double soup. Coco to Onaji. 
みんな変わっていくもんさそうそう5年も経っちゃうとね Yeah, you're right. Well, then, well, when you say five years, I guess it really is a long time. But some things haven't changed. Matsuko's dad was the same as always. The same goes for Agiha and Hatoru. And also Anchan. The things that I most wanted to stay the same are still here. Just wait a minute. I'm going to buy some food. Anchan made us wait. At a bench by the side of the road while he went to the bar and went to use. Hataru went after him. Hataru went after him. Why did she leave? Agia and I sat there on a bench. On the bench. Nee, Aoi. What's up? So, 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 I'm still just a candidate. Ketch ketch says in your shay no so yo. Don't even know if it's a proper club or not. Nani so de. You're in the robotic club, right? So, uchi no gakko de ichi ban ninki. You enter contests, don't you? Do they fly? Do they fight? The missiles and flying through the air. Ma, so nan da kido. Tabu, aoi ga kanga e teru no to wa chigao yo. 障害物競争したり、物を運んだり、積み上げたり。What the hell? ロボットの技術を競う戦いだからね。毎年テーマが決まってて、それに合わせて作るんだよ。Oh? 興味出た。どうな。you say that you build robots, but I don't really understand it。まあ、そうだよね。ここんとこ毎年初戦敗退でみんなそれが当然みたいな顔してるし葵が入ってこうビシッと引き締めてくれたらありがたいんだけど Why don't you do it yourself? いや私そういうキャラじゃないから If I had to say, Agiha likes to do things at her own pace. 昔はもっと熱心だったらしいんだけどね一度全国大会で準優勝したこともあるんだよ。わお、その時のロボットを作ったのが、ほら、この間見かけた人覚えてる？超留年生の餅月あまねさん。Yeah, I remember. うん。それはやっぱ美人さんだから。No, that's not why. Well, that could be one reason. <laughs> I mean, that makes a face that says. That she doesn't understand as she continues. Amane Senpai ga mada ichi nen no toki ni, hotondo jibun hitori de tsukutta robotto de, ikinari jun yushou shi chatta no. Kesshou sen de maketa nda kedo, controller no botan o oshi machigaeru toyu, bon miss ga hain datta ra shi yo. There's no, there are no what ifs in a match, but the national competition slipped through her fingers. She was in the first year. So, big up, na no yo, ano hito wa. Damn, that's amazing. Doshita no, Anchan. Before we knew it, Anchan and Hatoru were back, watching from a distance. Cider and orange, what do you want? Cider. I'll have the orange juice. I take the can and. Juice and crack it open. Itadakimasu. As we enjoyed drinking the juice, and Anchan washed us quiet. What is it? Yeah. Nanka, mukashi ni mozotta mitai da natte. Omae tachi futari ga sorotte ruto sa. Agia and I look at each other while drinking our juice. Then, embarrassed, we both laugh. Futari tari nai kedo. Koyu toki ni nai no ga mabo rashi wa ne. He's always been like that. みんなでやったいたずらがバレても一人だけ逃げたりね。で、でもあの後は謝りながら泣いてたし。本当、手のかかるやつだったわよね。Agia sighed as she said that, and Hotaru and I laughed. そんな麻婆にも今や彼女ができた。
お前たちも頑張らないとな In response to Anjan teasing the rest of us blush. <laughs> oh. Well, I already made it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.